You said, and you, you underscored uh, your key role in helping to determine the budget there yep. for the Pentagon, that you don't remember hearing anything that dealt with balloons. How long has the military actually been tracking this? Well, I mean, th that's a better question for the military from my perspective. Um, but they weren't sharing it with Congress. They weren't sharing it with me. And so uh, I can't say what their awareness was over the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but but obviously there was some awareness. But uh, whether it was up to where it needed to be, that's a, that's a debate that Congress needs to have and questions that need to be answered by our, our military leadership. You were very critical. You made that very clear and plain spoken about the fact that administration didn't shoot down the confirmed Chinese spy balloon over the state of Montana. Um, and you wanted it shot down as soon as it was in U.S. airspace. Has your view changed at all after you've been briefed? Yeah, well, so initially I, I was very much for shooting it down when it was over the Aleutians. I think uh, what transpired was is, is that the, the military took assessments as to potential collateral damage and the threat of this balloon. And, uh, you know, we pay these folks uh, good money to make sure we keep our nation safe. And uh, I respect their view. Uh, and, uh, and the president followed that. Mm -hmm. um, it, going on in the future, I think there needs to be a plan that's right up front so we know exactly what's going to happen when these balloons come in and their threat is assessed what's going to happen. But but look, we I got briefed uh, both an open session and a classified session. And and quite honestly, uh, the, the military and intelligence community's explanation of what transpired with that balloon, I accept. Mm -hmm. Is it something that I would have done right out of the, right out of the shoot? No, I, I would have probably done it different. But that's not saying that I'm right or I'm wrong or they're right or they're wrong. In right. the end, we ended up with a balloon that they've recovered and they're going to take and put it back together and reverse engineer it, and we'll find out what they're up to, plus the information that was gathered while it came across the United States. So um, I, I hear you say there's value in the, that intelligence. Yes. But in terms of, of damage, according to what was declassified, the Chinese balloon could intercept signals intelligence. It could pick up chatter. It hovered over some pretty key states, uh, locations in your state, including uh, one that ho ho houses, excuse me, 150 intercontinental ballistic missiles. No doubt about that. Was uh, there damage done? Um, no doubt about that. And there better not have been damage done or it, it, it makes my case for shooting the doggone thing down over the Aleutian Islands. Look, we've got ICBMs in Montana. We've got 150 of them. Malmstrom Air Force Base is an incredible deterrent mm -hmm. for this country and has been since the early 60s. Uh, they, uh, the military made an assessment that they wouldn't be able to gather the information that, that the military thought was important to China. Yeah. Um, and if that didn't happen that way, somebody screwed up. 